I'm Diana Del Bell Belouz. I have over 30 years experience in the fields of risk management and risk assessment. In 2001, I established my company RiskWise to help organizations manage risk more proactively and more robustly. I do that by showing them how to integrate a risk lens into their decision making and corporate culture. My name is Henk Reinen, and I'm delighted to be part of the Risk Awareness Week once more. I'm an engineer by background and have had a career of 35 years with Shell. Mid-career, I moved to the economics and decision analysis domain. The last five years, I was in the corporate strategy and planning department in the head office in The Hague, where I worked on investment decision guidance, risk analysis, and scenario planning. After I left, I founded Navencerta with a goal to help companies deal with uncertainty and risk. In 2020, we started a venture by the name of Claridec, with the emphasis on achieving clarity for decision making. In this workshop, we will explore the relationships between risk management and decision analysis and decision quality concepts, or more generally, decision making. We have experienced that risk managers and decision analysts form separate communities with each their own objective, roles, language and methodologies. Yet there are quite some overlaps between the fields and we feel they could benefit from integration or at least some cross-fertilization. So in this presentation we will look at three junction points. Risk identification and its counterpart decision framing. Secondly, risk quantification. And thirdly, the similarities between risk appetite and the decision quality element of values and trade-offs. For each section in the workshop, we have a short video to introduce the topic. Uh, thanks for visiting me in this uh, city of uh, the famous painter Vermeer. And so it's a good opportunity to have a chat about a few things. Uh, so, yeah, maybe you can tell me a little bit about your professional uh, experience. So I've been in the field of risk management for the last 30 years. And the last 20 years or so, I've really focused on enterprise risk management, which is about helping organizations to get better at taking strategic risks. Okay, so yeah, in my uh, time at Shell, I was exposed to decision making, decision analysis, risk management and actually try to bring these fields together a little bit um, try to integrate a number of these perspectives and um, let's say to de-silo um, the various departments uh, that work together on projects. I too have noticed that risk managers tend to vote tend to focus a little too narrowly in fact they try so hard to avoid risks that they fall into what I call the risk paralysis trap and in being so cautious about risk, they cut themselves off from really great opportunities. Okay, let's go for a walk. Let's look first how organizations typically make decisions. Of course, this is a bit of a simplified description and in reality things may be a bit more sophisticated. Nevertheless, what we often see is that first a problem or opportunity is identified then some solution to respond to the problem or opportunity will be generated. An evaluation is done to put together the business case with perhaps some information gathering, data analysis and modeling. The business case is presented to the decision makers who will need to approve it and then the decision will be implemented. Again, this may not be the case in every organization. However, it would seem that this is typically the process that is often sort of followed. We believe there are two key problems with decision making, complexity and uncertainty associated with the decision problem, and the presence of cognitive biases at the level of decision makers, but also at the level of the teams that prepare the decision to be made. We do not have time or the intention to explore these matters in great detail here, but in short, cognitive biases are preconceived 